In this video, we'll see how to record and then run a macro that lets you fix up an Excel file. We receive this file in the exact same format, maybe every day or every week. You want to be able to print it, but without printing all the columns. So we'll see how you record the macro as you hide the columns you don't need. And then when you get the next file, you can just run that same macro. It will quickly hide everything and you won't have to do this manual task every time you get the file. So to start recording, I'm going down to the bottom left and click this button that will start the recorder. It opens up a record macro window. We're going to name it Fix Excel File. We want to store this macro somewhere that will always be available, not just in this workbook. So I'm going to select Personal Macro Workbook. You can write in a description, but I'll just leave that blank and click OK. So now this is changed to a blue square down at the bottom. And I'm going to just start hiding some of the columns. I'm just going to click on a heading for a column I want to hide and click hide. Now that I've hidden one, when I click on the next one, on my keyboard I can press the F4 key and that will repeat the action that I just did. These are all in Canada, so I don't need that column. I can select a group of columns if I want to hide all of them, go through, form all the steps, and now we're just left with a few columns. You can make a column narrower, you can adjust whatever you need, and I can also check to make sure this will print on one page wide. Go to Page Layout, Page Setup section. I'm going to click this little pop-up. And now for the page, it's going to be Portrait. And instead of 100%, I want it to fit one page wide. So I'm going to clear out this tall because I don't know how long the list will be. All I know is that I only want it to be one page wide. Now I could do a preview. And there it shows me this is page 1 of 14. Close the preview by going back to the Home tab. So everything's set up, and now I can stop recording. So I've clicked on the cell. Down at the bottom left, I'll click the blue square, which will stop the recording. Now, to test it, I can close this without saving it. I've opened the same file again. It's unformatted now. To run my macro that I recorded, I'll go to the View tab. And over at the far right, you see Macros. Click view macros. You can see the macros that are in the personal workbook and here's the one I recorded, fix Excel file. So I'll click run and that very quickly hides all the columns and does the page setup. If I want that easier to run I could put it on the quick access toolbar and that is right up at the top of my Excel window. To add something I'll click the customize, more commands, from this list, I'll choose Macros, go down to the Personal Workbook, Fix Excel File, Add, and now it's in this list. If I want to have a different symbol, I could pick a green square, I could pick check mark, any symbol in this list of buttons. I'll go with the check mark, click OK, then I'll click OK down at the bottom, and now there's a check mark on my quick access toolbar. So I'm going to close this file without saving and open it again. So here's the file without any formatting. I'm now going to click my Fix Excel File button on the quick access toolbar, and it's very quickly set up the way I want it. 